All right, guys, we are back for another video here in Japan, Osaka. It's our second full day today, and we literally just woke up, <laughs> and it's quite really late. late yeah. yeah, so um, we are planning to go to this amazing castle. Apparently, it's the most famous castle here in Japan. Ooh. So um, yeah, we're gonna go and visit that. It's called the Sakusa Castle, and it's only gonna take us about twenty-minute walk to get there, or a fifty-minute car, but. The weather's nice and yeah, so we're probably just gonna walk there and if we find something to eat, we'll probably stop before I, we go. I think we want to try some sushi, but we normally get cooked sushi, yeah. but so far all we've seen is like raw sushi and we do want to give it a go, but like maybe just one or two pieces, yeah. <laughs> not like a full... And it's, and it's super expensive because yeah. the fish is super fresh. Yeah. So, so yeah. Hopefully let's... we see some cooked sushi. Yeah. So yeah, let's go to Osaka Castle. Before going to the Osaka Castle, which is just right in front of us, we stopped over here at Lawson. So Lawson is like the equivalent of 7-Eleven, Mini Mart, Family Mart, like convenience store basically. And I got my iced coffee, uh, spicy tuna onigiri, and Zoe's got, I'm not sure what this is. It's like a pancake with like marshmallows some inside cream and jam. marshmallow and jam. And yeah, so this is just a quick snack just to keep us going for the day because it's devouring it. So we're in this sort of park right by the castle and the parks here in Japan are so nice. They're so well spaced out and so well thought about and um, we've just seen over there where we just were, there's this really nice lake surrounding the castle. It just looks really nice. Zara said it didn't even look real. Yeah, it looks like a picture. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, there's like a really nice view as well of the city. All the buildings are like super modern and nice looking mm. but I think we're nearly there I think we've just got to kind of walk a, up a bridge sort of thing but I can see the top of it and it looks so unique and so nice Sana on. Sorry? Sana on. <laughs> this is the walk up to the castle guys Beautiful. so nice because it looks it's very um, well planned because you can see like the trees on each side is like so even Perfect. Perfect yeah. It looks like a bonsai tree, I'm not sure. Leave a comment down below guys what you what tree you think this is. Alright guys, so we have arrived here at Osaka Castle and it's absolutely beautiful. There are actually quite a lot of people here. What I've said earlier, this is the main landmark of Japan and it's here in Osaka. It's crazy but you can also go inside because inside it's an eighth floor eighth floor museum however it's meant to be seventh floor but because there's no one of the floors i think it's the second floor it's like not, not counted but when you go to the very top there's a view deck and that's pretty cool but um today i don't think we're gonna go inside and you have to pay to get in so yeah we don't even know how much it is but i think it's 800 yen mm. depending if you're an adult or a child but obviously and you can also get a combo deal i think like, like you can parks go, and stuff and yeah, food you, you go inside the park the uh, the garden i mean you go to the turrets and inside the castle so yeah it's pretty cool but yeah it's so beautiful guys look how intricate the design is the thing it's is it looks all the patterns and the gold it's like perfectly crafted apparently inside the castle it's completely different than the outside it's more modernized oh uh, so like they've made it modern in the middle and, uh, yeah but this castle is actually in the very middle of the fort you know the map that we showed oh, you guys yeah. it's literally right in the middle so they started building this in 1583 and it wasn't completed until 1597 making it 425 years old wow and it looks brand new <laughs> like it doesn't look a day old to be honest it looks so so brand new wow it looks so clean they've really well maintained it if it's 425 years old and it's not your typical tower you know it's uh, a temple not no, your castle. typical castle yeah like because normal castle is just like rocks and so everything normal castle looks like that wait mm. can you see that there guys the that's like a cafe i think with a mm. view deck 
Um, but that looks more like a castle in our heads than the actual castle here. But that just shows the different architecture and the different designs between different countries, basically. That's, you know, a castle here in Japan, but in the UK and a lot of Western countries, it's more like the one over there. Alright guys, so we've finished here at Osaka Castle, but before we go to the next destination here in Osaka, we're going to have to check out this vending machine literally right next to the castle on the side. And there's about 2, 4, 6, 13, 13 vending machines here in the middle of this fort right next to the castle. Wow. I think there's going to be a lot of options. That's the thing, I think there's different things in each machine as well. Mm. Wow. You just like, J Japan is just completely on a different level. <laughs> Especially with their vending machines. Especially with the vending machines, yeah. Oh, wow. that's crazy. The thing is, like to order ramen, you have to go to a vending machine to get your ticket. And then you just give the ticket to the person at the till. Oh, got ice cream. It's crazy. You can even get ice cream? Wow. Yeah, everything here. And it's not even that much. It's like 130 yen, which is... You can get it cheaper at the um, convenience store. No, it's cheaper for you Yeah, you can get literally everything, guys. Everything. Mm. Ah, that's refreshing. Thing is, guys, the weather today is absolutely boiling and I'm wearing I thought it was going to be a bit cold, so I, so I decided to wear a jumper and trousers. But this is literally shorts weather, short in a tank top. <laughs> no joke. So if you come to the actual castle grounds, it's completely free just to walk around. Uh, but if you want to enter any of the gardens or the actual museum or anything like that, that's when you have to pay to get in. And there's like combo packages where you could do, go to like three different places or you can just go into the museum or just one of the gardens. It's really up to you what you want to see. But if you just want to see things from afar, you can come in completely free, just roam around. You can bring bikes, skateboards, everything. We've, it just seems like everyone's just chilling walking around it's very calm vibes very beautiful and like we're now at a place next to the castle where there's like a view of the city and the lake below and it just looks so nice so let me show you the buildings look so modern and so clean as you can see guys it's the buildings of the city it's pretty clean pretty modern and this beautiful lake and the rock fortress here looks amazing it's really peaceful here as well and super calming and it's just really really nice but everywhere you go in japan here in japan though what we've noticed is everything's just so peaceful it's so chill mm. no litter super clean good whatsoever. for the soul yeah good for the mind you just feel calm yeah <sighs> like even when we're lost you don't you can't get stressed here in japan no <laughs> like if we were somewhere else in london if you're lost it's so stressful here in Japan, it's just like, it's okay, we'll get there. We'll get there. <laughs> it's fine. It's a very laid back vibes and I love it. Okay guys, so we've been on the hunt for sushi and it's actually been quite hard to find. We've mostly just been finding like curries and ramen places. But we have actually found a sushi place and we've had quite a bit of confusion. We didn't realise but we actually ordered off the takeout menu. So when we then sat in they got really confused but they said it's okay, we'll just eat the takeaway in here. <laughs> but we're, we've just got one platter to share. We're not really sure exactly what we got but we got a platter which I think was 1,100 yen mm. and we're just going to try it and I don't even know what the name of this place is but I'm excited to try our first sushi here in Japan. I think a lot of it is raw so it really is the first time we've ever had like raw sushi so I'm kind of excited but a little bit nervous. 
So here's our sushi plate. Mm. So obviously this is shrimp. Yeah. And I think this is salmon, salmon. tuna. Uh, I think it's octopus, octopus, this one. And then the others, we're not sure. Yeah, we'll give it a go anyway. We'll give it a go. I'm gonna go for the shrimp. Guys, I'm not doing a good job with the chopsticks. Zara's having to feed me because I couldn't actually pick it up. Mmm. Mmm. You like raw salmon, right? Nope. No? I see. <laughs> You like it? Even though it's raw? Yeah. It's not even fishy. It's not fishy? Maybe because it's so fresh. That's tuna that on. This is raw tuna. I've only ever had raw tuna once and that was with Nelly when we had Kinilao. But obviously this has got no like coconut sauce or anything, so let's give it a go. I think it's tuna, right? Nice. Just weird because it's so cold. But taste wise, good. That sushi was actually so nice. So it's time to go to Umida Sky Building to go and see the amazing view of Osaka. Let's go. Okay, guys, so we have made it to the Umida Sky, Sky Tower, Tower. And my oh my, is it big? It's very different, you know? We're like different... completely underneath it at the moment. Mm. But yeah, I've never seen a tower look quite like this. It's like two big, big, big towers with like this weird, what would you call that in the middle? The weird bridge? It kind of looks still like it's under construction. I don't think it is. I think that is the design, but look at that. I think we're going to go up, but it does seem like it's quite expensive. 1,500 yen per person, which is around $14, so like yeah. 12 pounds or something. It's pretty pricey, but it's nearly sunset, so we thought it could be a pretty good view. So we're gonna go and check it out. It might be cheaper, it might be more expensive. That's just what we found on Google. So uh, we'll, we'll update you, know. you, yeah. Let's go and have a look. So we currently stopped at 35th floor, about 140 meters, and we're still going up. It's absolutely crazy. Like, look at the view, and just in time for sunset. So we just bought our ticket on a machine, as usual here in Japan, and I can confirm. It is 1,500 yen per person, which is expensive, but now we've started going up, I'm like, it's worth it. I've not, we've not even got to the top, and I can already tell it is worth that 1,500 yen, especially during sunset time, which it is now, so I can't wait to show you guys. For the rays. So we're now on the skywalk. It's just this big, great big circle. And although we're like outside and really high up, it doesn't feel like I'm outside. But I promise you guys, there's no glass there, it's open. And it's the perfect temperature. It's not hot, it's not cold, it's not windy. It's just so peaceful up here, except from us vlogging. <laughs> but the sunset is amazing. And like, the sunset is just making the sky look amazing. Everywhere you look, is a, it just looks great. Like you've got like pastel colors, you've then got the yellow of the sunset. Um, and there's right where the sun is going down, there's probably about a hundred photographers and videographers there with their huge cameras and their lenses, which are like the size of my arm. Um, but yeah, it just, this city view is just incredible. You can see 360 degree view of Osaka, and just with the softest background of the perfect sunset and I can hear planes but I can't see them but enough talking let's show you
also guys underneath the uh, the viewpoint there's also a cafe and a restaurant so um, after the viewpoint you can actually chill here and enjoy the view okay guys we are coming to the end of today's video we have had an absolute blast so on our amazing. second day in Osaka Japan and I can't wait for more. the rest of the trip because this is because this is only Osaka like we haven't we're planning to go to two more different places yeah and it's just been incredible like that is on top with I think that's my favorite sky deck mm. ever and probably one of the best sunsets as well we didn't even plan to go and see the sunset it just happened that way with yeah. timings and stuff but it was perfect so from what we said earlier it cost about 1500 yen to get up there which is about 14 dollars but it's worth each, it but it's worth it but I think you should go at sunset it. as well yes. because I think that makes it even more worth it and if it. you want to catch the best spot make sure to come early to get your spot because the amount of people with loads of camera gears oh my gosh yeah so many mm. also if any of you have some like particular restaurant recommendations mm. or like food that we have to try such as maybe a ramen spot or a sushi spot because the one we found earlier was just kind of like a random one we yeah. found but like we want to know if there's like a particular place that we must try so if any of you have any recommendations leave a comment down below and we'll check it out but anyway guys we're going to end the vlog here so make sure to like share subscribe leave a comment down and below press that notification bell on we'll see you in the next one peace